Hello and welcome back to Ame's Bookshelf. I am Teresa Garcia or Ame Hana Arashi and today we are reviewing The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. This is one that I had read quite some time ago and I have only just managed to get to catching up on doing the audio portion of my review. I have given this a five star rating. I think that you need to be so 16 years or older to read this. You could probably read it a lot younger if your parents are willing, but I think that some of the issues most people aren't going to be particularly mentally mature enough to handle until they're around 16. I was braced for this book to deliver some blows and to challenge some things, which it did. This to me is in the same vein as 1984, Fahrenheit 451, and others that serve as cautionary tales of what could be. This book follows the tale of one woman that lost her child, family, and everything dear to her in a political upheaval. She is then subjected to further abuse by being forced to be one of many breeders called handmaids for the state. In a world where women are tossed back to pre-industrial status, they all must wear particular clothing. A handmaid, distrusted by all other classes of women, wear red and chaste wings as holy vessels for children. Behind their backs and to their faces, other women refer to them as sluts. The wives of officials wear blue to show who they are. The Marthas, the servant women, wear green. And those wives of lower class people, econo wives as they call them in this book, wear striped clothes of blue, red, green, and white. There are other cases that aren't touched on very much, and one type of woman in particular that is allowed to stay under very controlled conditions. Everyone has a place. Everyone is expendable. I found the story sad, terrifying, and maddening. It pushed all of the right buttons. The question is whether or not this warning tale will fall on the right ears, or if it will be used to promote just that sort of world. I think that this is a must read. Personally, I could see this being used in upper grade English for high school, junior, or senior levels, or in college English. There is a lot to discuss, even with the sex scenes. The sex also is not gratuitous, but necessary to the story. And again, this is why I would not recommend it to anybody below 16. So if you are prepared for a wild ride and a lot of challenges to everything that you believe in, go ahead, read it. If you're looking for a good read for your kids, I would pass along to a different one. 